We're here at Tooltech near Plymouth and we're going to find out why they've transitioned to some new software, but also why they didn't do it years ago. This is a great story of how Tooltech took a great leap of faith really using new software and it was a leap of faith really, but first of all, tell me a bit about the company because it's really interesting what you do. Uh, so Tooltech began back in 1997 when my dad Mark bought the business off his old boss. Um, and just developed it to where it is today. We do all this bespoke one-off tooling for the aerospace and power generation sectors, like wax injection molds, and all the fixture that goes alongside that. Right, so, but it's only very small batch runs, essentially. You're not doing 10,000 off and things like that? No, all one-offs, two-offs. Very rare we get a batch run. Right, so when you're sort of programming stuff and camming stuff, it's got to be done pretty much right first time every time. Yeah, that's it, yeah. That's why it is really important to have a reliable cam software, because the programs are literally one off. So you've transitioned to new software. What was the problem with the old software you were using? We had a lot of sort of surface finish problems, the um, a lot of collisions, which we don't really expect from a cam software, but that's what we were having. And that's probably the main thing that we were struggling with was the collisions and the surface finish. So we decided to look elsewhere. And where did you look? Went to Open Mind Hyper Mill and got a demonstration off those guys, and yeah, it was really good. But yeah. what sort of things is it helping you with at the moment? And how, yeah, how has it sort of transitioned your business? It's been really good so far. We, we've had a lot of better surface finish on the jobs. The, very few collisions now, <laughs> but none actually. And um, yeah, the actual when the job comes off the machine, it's a lot easier to to deal with and less polishing. One of the examples you gave there was a surface finish. But how is it actually possible to improve that surface finish? How's Hypermill helped? I think with Hypermill compared to our previous cam software, you have a lot more strategies you can choose from, and it's very easy to change from one strategy to the other. So if one isn't working there'll always be something else you can use to, to, to get the right service finish. Okay, and you've got a lot of machines here, a lot of tooling and things like that, so I'm assuming you're having to build up a big library of your tools, your tool holding and things like that, and yeah. also the machines, is that easy to do? Yeah, it was very straightforward. If once we, we learned how to do it, it was very simple. So when you say you learned how to do it, I'm assuming the training was quite daunting? Yeah, the first day of training was, yeah, it's, it's a whole new software, so we Fridge rabbit and headlights, like what we're we doing here. But after the three days and then a couple of days playing with ourselves, yeah, it all kind of clicked and was fine. Okay, so you did three days and two days like kids in a sweet shop, yeah. and then more training after that. Yeah, then following those two days, we had another three days, which was the advanced training, and by the end of that, we were pretty much good to go, I'd say. And yeah, we had a few bits, little bits of support afterwards, but after that, we just switched to hypermill. So. Eight, essentially eight days and then complete transition? Complete transition, yeah. We no longer use the previous CAM software. It's all Hypermill now. Right, and I know Hypermill said, you know, we're going to give you all the support and help. Has, have they actually been able to do that? I mean, I'm sure there's going to be little niggles along the way. Yeah, I, I think during the training, the guy said, just make sure you contact us if you're struggling. Don't, don't struggle, we're here to help. And the first few days, we had a few issues we were struggling with, but they were always there and helped us and gave us the answers we needed. So complete support. Okay, what about things, I mean, we mentioned surface finish, for example. What about post-processing and also your bench work? Yeah, there's a lot less bench work now. I mean, the job comes off to a lot better standard than what we were getting, and there's a lot less for the guys to have to do to get it ready to be shipped out the door. Okay, what about the post-processing then? That was very straightforward. That was one of the biggest things that we were concerned about with the change into CAM software, but it was actually very simple, very straightforward, and you can't really fault it. Right, so so far it sounds like it's been really straightforward, you know, a little bit daunting, but a great transition. Would you go back? And also, why didn't you do it years ago? I think we had a few concerns five years ago about transitioning from one cam software to another. But now we've gone through that transition, it's been very straightforward, very simple, and it's something we should have done five years ago. 